Today we're going to be setting up an active humidification system on a ventilator. Today we're going to be also using the Fisher Paykel 850. The process would be roughly the same with any humidification system you'd be using. Uh, we do not have the Neptune set up right now, but we will be going over that one. But just setting it up is the same. The only thing different would be your wires for this. This is the heating humidification chamber. So this would come off and then you'd unwind the hose here. And this hose is your feed tube for your bag feed. For the purposes of just not having hoses everywhere, I'm going to leave it on here. First, you'd have to pull the blue cap that is on here. Just pull that off and then take this off and put it on the heater. So it goes on. This front part goes down. You push down. Go in. It's on. Now, I'm going to attach my circuit. The first piece I'd have is this piece right here. This piece goes from the, from the ventilator to the patient, but it's not going to go directly to the patient. It's got to go to the chamber. If you look on the servo eye, it'll say inspiratory. Just about every ventilator will have some type of out or directional going. This side here says expiratory, meaning it comes out of the patient. It's printed on the ventilator. The servo eye has an internal HEPA filter. So the HEPA filter filters out everything. The PB840 does not. That's why it has a filter on the inspiratory side and a filter on the expiratory side. The servo eye does not have an expiratory filter, so we must add our bacterial static viral static filter. If you don't remember how to set up the individual ventilators, please go back to the previous videos on the ventilators and how to set them up. So I'll take this from the ventilator and then feed it into our heating chamber. There is no in or out. They are interchangeable. Then I will get my circuit. My circuit has a blue and white side. This is an Evaqua circuit. Typically, the inspiratory side is the blue side. The expiratory side is the white side. On Usually there is a cap that is right here and you would have to pop that off. It seems to have been uh, disconnected and do not know where it is located at this time. But you'd pop it off and this would go on the other side of the heated circuit, the heating chamber. Try to get your hose the twist out, make sure it's not twisted. And then the expiratory side, the end of the white, will go right here on the expiratory. Okay, and then of course our ventilator has a white cap. I will use the arm and just hook this up out of the way to get it out of my, get it out of my way. Now, how does the heater actually heat it? Heat the everything. Well, you can turn this on, but there's no way for the wires to get heated. So I would pop the little cap that's supposed to be here off. And I will attach my temperature probes. You see blue, blue. Do not force, push in till it goes in easily, right there. This has two prongs on it. One looks like it's broken off. It is not broken off. That is a humidification sensor. You will see a triangle. Bring this closer so you can see it. You will see a triangle right there and that is designed to go into that circuit. So it goes in and clicks in place. There, it is clicked in. Now this temperature probe, remember with heated, anything heated, this is the temperature probe for the airway. And anytime you have heated, you must have a temperature probe close to the airway. Open this up, and that goes in there. Now, as I said earlier, how does it actually heat the wires? Because there are wires in the circuit. You use your pigtails. I'll give you a hint. The short one goes closest to the heater. 
the long one goes furthest from the heater. The other hard hint is yellow goes to yellow. You will see that this one is clovered, has three probes on it. The exhalation side only has two. It's also longer. So again, twist, put in, inspiratory, the clovers match up right there, put it in, expiratory two prong, two prong, boom. I am now ready to provide heated humidification to my patient once I spike my bag and I have water going in here. It ha also needs to be plugged up to the wall. Currently it is not plugged up. You plug it into the wall. You have your options right here, invasive or non-invasive. It'll default to invasive. You turn it on and off here, and here's your alarm silence. This diagram, it'll light up wherever the error is. And that is how to set up a heated humidification system.